Well, moving to Kentucky now, where a lot of rain flooded much of the eastern part of the state nearly two weeks ago. It's prompted a lot of people and organizations to make the effort to help as much as they can, including two men from here in the Piedmont. Yeah, Shannon Simos and Paul Henson told Fox 8's Daryl Matthews it took donations of food, a pickup truck, and a trailer to push them to spend their extra time helping people in dire need. Daryl joins us now live from the newsroom. So, Daryl, where exactly are they and what inspired them to go? Yeah, so right now they're in May King, Kentucky, and both Simos and Henson tell me they got there this past Sunday, and the plan is to head back to Winston this Saturday, but they also tell me this wasn't pl a planned trip. They say watching TV, they saw the need for help after the floods, and they gathered what they could and did just that. It's difficult to see the struggle that they're going through, but it's gratifying to know that we can provide a little bit of comfort. A little bit of comfort, but tons of support from two Winston-Salem natives. After double-digit rainfalls sent stream levels to record heights in Kentucky, causing massive floods. It was easy to identify with these folks and see that they needed help. And we're also, Paul and I are very fortunate to be able to take a little time away from our normal activities to be able to make it here. A nearly four-hour drive, a trailer, and a pickup truck full of food, all provided through donations from friends, family, and some big box businesses. It's amazing how many people have lost, like, their houses and their cars and everything they have, you know. And some people are just riding around in their cars that if they still have a car because they don't have a house to go home to. Simos and Henson have been in Making Kentucky for nearly a week. They take shelter inside the town's fire department to sleep and cook for the community that lost nearly everything. I spoke to them both early Tuesday morning, and in the two days that they were there, they served over 500 meals, providing families two meals a day. There's no words can describe how you feel. I mean, sometimes you just want to give up and sit down and just cry for these people. Vehicles floating down the highway, down the river, uh, houses, unbelievable. The devastating flash floods in eastern Kentucky have killed 38 people, including four children. It ripped away homes and businesses, leaving thousands of people homeless, and President Biden declaring the floods a major disaster and announcing federal aid and help from rescuers. Really torn up right here at the fire station where we're at. It's not that bad, but a quarter mile in any direction is really bad off. Making Fire Chief Tony Fugate says seven counties were hit by the floods, and while the community still has a lot of rebuilding ahead, he says Simos and Henson's efforts to help out where they can aren't going unnoticed. They're God's hand and to the people of our community, and I'm very thankful they're here, and they're welcome here anytime. This is just humans helping humans. Paul and I had time. We had the opportunity. We're fortunate enough to have friends and family who could contribute. Now, Chief Fugate tells me the department got the call for the flood rescue around 2 in the morning the week of July 28th. He said that's when the levels of the water were at its lowest, and three hours later they started to rise, and all they could do was tell people to find higher ground because of the lack of access to the underwater roads. He also tells me both Simos and Henson have been made honorary firemen for making the department, uh, for make, working with the department for their volunteer efforts. We're live in the news from Darrell Matthews, Fox 8 News. Carol, thank